<laughs> what do you guys wish you knew about sort of success in Hollywood when you were starting out? And knowing what you know now, what would you have done differently in your careers? I don't think there's anything I would want to know different because I think it was my naivete sure. mm-hmm. that got me where I am. Mm-hmm. I didn't totally. know that you had to have an agent and a manager to get an audition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just called somebody I met at a workshop and was like, I don't know if you remember me, but my voice does sound <laughs> like I need to drink lotion. So he recognized <laughs> it right drink away. Drink lotion. Uh, and yes, and I said, well, this is Nisi Nash. I'm broke, I got a baby, and I need a job. Ooh. And he mm-hmm. said, be down here at 3 o'clock. And yes. I went to my first producer session for a feature film with no agent, no ma- because I wow. didn't know you couldn't didn't do that. that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that it mm-hmm. was, you know, ill-fitting. So when I walk in and everybody is going, who are you with? Oh, who are you with? And they were playing the mm-hmm. game yes. of who got the best agent. And I, they asked me, and I said, myself? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because if I hear Yvette clucking, I told you so. One more time in the background, I'm going to reach through this phone and strangle it. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Yeah. No, thank God. But, but call me, call me when you get there. Okay. Bye-bye. Stop licking your ugly balls and go mingle. When I was standing in that audition, and it was 15 people deep in there and a director, and he said, I did my little under five lines. Yes. <laughs> and he said, thank you. He said, send her out and have her read this and this. So it was another little under mm. five. I was like, okay. He said, we're going to hall and prepare. I said, just to read this? I said, no, I'm I can ready. read it now. Yeah. And so the man, well, I said, well, will you stop pushing me? So when I yes. get ready to read the thing, the man, the director said, thank you. And I said, you welcome. Mm-hmm. And he said, thank you. And I said, don't Mm. mention it. (laughs) He said, no, dear, thank you. You may leave. Hand to God. I said, oh, well, did y'all pick me? (laughs) Because I told him I got a baby at home. Did you tell them that I told you I got a baby at home? (laughs) That's unbelievable. And how these people booked me for this job. You got it. You got the role. Oh, my God. I did the movie called Boys on the Side, and my scene was with Whoopi Goldberg. Drew Barrymore was in it. Boys on the Side. Yes, it was my first job. Oh, my God. One thing that I would add is that I like that I have fallen to the category of being an approachable Mm -hmm. celebrity or personality Mm -hmm. because I've hosted a lot of shows. And so I bring a lot of the truth of who I am to those things. So people feel like they know you. And I was at a restaurant where there was another celebrity not so approachable. approachable. And literally people were like, oh, my God. She had a fry. She had a fry. Oh my, oh my God. You know, like people were in a panic. They were clutching their pearls. They were looking from afar. Meanwhile, my table was Grand Central Station. Hey, this is yeah. <laughs> So growing up, what were the moments for you when you realized there was the light bulb moment of, I'm going to be an actress? For me, I was five years old. I was watching television with my grandmother, and we were watching a soap opera, I think Young and the Restless. It got preempted by something, and I saw the most gorgeous black woman Mm. that I had ever seen Mm -hmm. in my little five years of living. Mm -hmm. She had a long red dress on, her eyelashes looked like butterflies. Uh. And my eyes crossed, and I said, Grandma, (laughs) who is that? She said, baby, that's Lola (laughs) Falana. And in that moment, I felt like God stamped on the canvas of my imagination, destiny. I said, looked at my grandmother, I said, I want to be black and fabulous and on TV. (laughs) And I goosebumps. And at that point, I refused to answer to my name. (laughs) Nisi, get in here. Nisi. Lola! <laughs> and I would go, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and, I, and I knew in that moment that that is what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Wow. Mm. I'm Nisi Nash, and I want to say thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter. Mwah. Crew guys, mm-hmm. you know, well, mm. recently this guy was calling us Ladybugs, love bugs. I'm like, we have a show. 